It's Monday, January 18th, and we're leaving work like around 2 o'clock because our shipment still didn't come. In this line of work, there's a lot of hurry up and wait, hurry up and wait. The customer needs the product really badly, but the bottles are not here, so what can I do, right? So <clears throat> I'm very excited because last night I was on Periscope and I was talking to Sherry Shepard who is, or was, I, I don't think she's on The View anymore. I think she fills in when somebody gets sick. But she's a stand-up comedian and an actress and a talk show host here um, in America. And she periscopes. And she's interactive with the people who is in her room. And so I always say something that kind of grabs her attention. And we got into a conversation. And needless to say, she asked me to share my information with her at Twitter. Stuff about the show. Because I invited her to come be on the show. I'm always trying to get guests to come into the show. If the guest is not like a popular person or a well-known person, I still want them to come because I want you guys to know that the show is not just about me, it's about you guys too. And when you guys are there with me, we have a really, really wonderful time. You can question any of my guests that's been there and they'll tell you that they don't wanna leave. My home is warm and inviting. There's always a lot of good food going on in the back, back where you guys don't see. And basically, we have a good time. But I'm always reaching out to people who are popular also so that they can come be a guest because I want them to be able to promote the things that they're involved with. And I want them to come to my show to lend more credibility to my show, if you will, because I don't know what else they can really do for my show. You know what I mean? <clears throat> so I gave her a proposal of sorts. And um, because she had she had told me, you know, my plate is kind of full. I don't know if I can come do a collaboration, yada, yada. But where do you tape from? And she was asking interesting things, right? So I told her everything, gave her the proposal, so to speak. And we'll see if maybe one day she'll be able to put me on her schedule. In any way, in any case, I'll still follow her. And I bought some tickets to go to her stand-up comedy show on February the 5th, right um, locally in Pasadena. That's near where mommy lives. And actually, mommy gave me the money to buy the tickets. And I bought some VIP tickets where I can sit in the first two rows or whatever. And um, I'm excited. I might actually get to meet her and shake her hand or something. So anyways, I'm really having a great day. And I hope your day is going great too. So let me go grab Joel so we can bail. I want to show you guys this. So see this gentleman right there with the blue hat? I don't want to show his face and show him too closely. But oh, that's me. Hold on, guys. Hold on. That's a good brother. Okay, so that Pakistani Indian guy, that's a good brother. <clears throat> there, there are three brothers and two of them are awful. Well, that guy works for them as a truck driver, but I don't think he has anywhere to live. And <clears throat> they're definitely not gonna let him stay inside the building. And so I think he sleeps inside their truck. And when they're not there, he sits across there by the dumpster on a chair. How can you treat people so poorly? You know? Yeah, they're gonna get run off from here. This is no, this is plumbing and AC. They're probably coming to fix the AC for the complex. So I still have to call Helen for her birthday today. Today is Helen's birthday. I saw that on Facebook. We called you two times already because <clears throat> Jada had a surprise for you. Whose birthday? Our sweet Helen. And um, she didn't. You didn't answer. So we're gonna try again in a little bit. Okay, it's two o'clock now. <clears throat> oh my stupid throat doesn't hurt or anything but it's it's still I still have a lot of phlegm issues going on anyways let me go home and decide what I'm gonna do and then I'll catch you guys in a little bit okay take a look at this website guys New Orleans Jazz and Heritage Festival from April the 22nd to May the 1st 2016 look at these people who are gonna be there Stevie Wonder is the headliner look at all these other wonderful artists I of course love Aaron Neville I love Gregory Porter and a bunch more in here now, you might be wondering, why am I showing this to you? Well, it's because I have some pretty big news. I got invited to come to this festival for 10 days in New Orleans and represent Belize as the face of Belizean food. Oh my goodness, I can't believe this. So let me proceed to tell you how everything transpired. So I was at home today and I took a phone call to my Google phone number. So at first I thought it was just a customer checking in on his order, right? So the gentleman identified himself and he started to ask me if I knew anything about the Jazz and Heritage Festival. So I told him no, because the only thing that I know about New Orleans or New Orleans is uh, Mardi Gras. 
Now, had Jada been here, she would have been able to school me on this festival because she knows everything about it because this is exactly the type of music that she writes and sings, the jazz, um, folk, indie type stuff. So anyways, the guy gave me a good background on the festival, how big it is, how long it's been in existence, um, the artists that, that headlined prior years before, who's headlining this time, and all this good stuff. So I'm like, okay, this is a nice history lesson. You know, I'm, I'm learning something new, but where's this guy going with this conversation, right? So then he tells me that every year, the um, festival committee chooses a country that they feature at the festival and I guess um, a couple of years prior West Indian countries were winning but this year 2016 Belize was the winner well I got really excited at that point because I like hearing that Belize wins at anything right and so then he continues to tell me that he contacted Belize and they invited some bands to come up and some uh, single artists and stuff like that and that he contacted the tourism board of Belize to ask them if they had anybody to send to represent the food of Belize the foods of Belize and so he says, these are, these are his words. He says, sadly and unfortunately, they had no one. And I was like, wow, that's shocking. <clears throat> now, I'm still thinking maybe the guy's going to hit me up for a donation or something, right? Imagine my surprise when the conversation continued and he gave me the invitation. He's like, we're asking you, would you come and be the face? I'm like, wow, I'm floored. I said, first of all, I'm honored. And, you know, second of all, I'm really excited beyond belief because this is like my first big invitation that I'm receiving since I've been doing the YouTube show. And for it to come from my own country people is like amazing. And so he's like, we're serious. What would it take for you to come? And I said, well, the only thing that I can come up with off the top of my head is that I won't be able to come. I won't be able to afford any type of expense, you know, to do this. So like plane tickets, hotel stay, the actual food to make, to take to the function, you know, stuff like that. I wouldn't be able to come up with any of that. And he said, oh, that's more than fair. We wouldn't ask that of you. And so he said, I told him that I needed two tickets, one for Joe and one for me because I can't travel alone because I do still suffer with the vertigo. In a future vlog, I'm going to update you guys on the vertigo, okay? And so he's like, that's more than fair. We're going to put you up in a hotel for 10 days. We're going to do this, da, da, da. And he started laying out some things. It was pretty fast. So I was trying to take notes down, you know, and try to ask all the appropriate questions. And then he told me the backstory of what happened you know, that he talked to some chef in Belize. I don't think the guy's really a chef. I think he's just a cook like I am, but everybody calls himself a chef. And that the guy turned him down flat. I was like, well, his loss is my gain because I want to come. And so um, he said that they were in a um, committee meeting last night and th he told them what happened, that they didn't have anybody to cover the food stuff. And some guy raised his hand and said, what about the girl from the Bear Pantry show? And he was like, well, who's that? And he said, a lady was at the meeting. And the lady says, oh, that's my family. So he asked me if I had any family in New Orleans. And I'm like, no, I don't know anybody there. And so then I said, oh, wait, wait, wait. My godmother from baptism, she lives in New Orleans. And so he asked me her name and I gave the maiden name and the last name. And then he told me what her nickname was. And I was like, yeah, that's her. And if you guys remember correctly, I told you that I searched for my godmother for many years through Facebook. And when I finally found her, I was kind of underwhelmed because she didn't remember who I was. And, you know, it wasn't the kind of godmother that just kind of stood up for me and then went away. I remember different times that I spent time with her as a little kid, like around six years or whatever. And so, um, you know, I she was never, ever rude or mean to me. I think I was just like, in my little feelings because she didn't remember me but she's always been kind to me on facebook since i've been in contact with her and i've talked to her a couple of times on the phone you know really really sweet lady so i was like oh how cool you know she vouched for me and so he's I like yeah he says I, I went and i took a look at your show i'm impressed with what i saw you're exactly what we're looking for please don't feel offended that we came to you second because I didn't know that you existed. And I'm like, no, no need for apology at all. I am not hurt in those type of ways. I'm just really honored to be asked. And if somebody turned you down first or whatever, I don't care about any of that. I'm, I'm like the people at the Oscars, but they're fake. I'm not. You know, when they say, I'm just happy to be nominated. <laughs> I'm just happy to be asked. And I really want to go. So there are a few things that he has to work out. He made it seem to me that all he had to do was take this to his committee 
and it will all be approved and done. And that it was only left in, you know, in my corner to verify everything with Joe that I can come and yada yada. So um, I haven't heard from him yet, but I'm going to come back and tell you guys as soon as I know more. So for right now, I've been invited and it's not confirmed yet. Okay. Now I'm hoping and praying that Jada can come with us. I did not throw her in the mix because I know that she has school and I didn't know how quickly she could plan to get out of school, stuff like that. And also I didn't want to seem greedy. Like I'm just like bringing a whole entourage, you know? So uh, that was an amateur move. My battery died. So as I was saying, I really wish that Jada can come with us. Uh, but even though we can cover her plane tickets, I don't know that we can afford to get her into the venue because like I said, it's $75 a day or 60 if you buy it before um, February 2nd and she would have to go in with us seven days. So um, what I'm going to do is find out if they have some type of a badge or something that they would be able to give her so she can go in with us and I'm just going to ask. I'm going to let him know this is not a part of the stipulation or the deal, but my daughter would really love to come and I wondered if there's some type of a badge that she can wear to get into the venue and that she could be of good help and all that good stuff. If he doesn't have it, he doesn't have it, but I'll be hurt if I don't ask and I get there and find out, you know, that he would say, oh my God, you could have brought her. I totally have six of these badges I'm, I'm not using, you know? So I'm going to ask. I'm going to be brave and I'm going to ask and I'm going to let him know that it's not a part of the deal. If you can't work it, you can't work it. So, but I'm hoping that Jada can come with us because I think she could be tremendous help to me and I think she would benefit from meeting these people that are going to be at this festival. So cross your fingers for me, guys. I'll be updating you guys as soon as I know more, okay? So this is where we're at, guys. Um, J and A Electrical. Joe just went in. The gentleman that runs and owns this um, store is my electrician that will come out and take a look at my machinery when it goes down electric wise if it goes down but with mechanical issues joe fixes it himself but uh, electrical issues joe doesn't try to mess with that so <clears throat> joe came here to ask him realistically what he can sell this transformer uh, for the transformer is sitting there for four years not getting any use and I don't see any reason why I would ever need it. And it bumps the energy up or the power up from 220 to 4. I don't know if it's 440, 480, whatever it is. And I don't want to underprice it. I don't want to overprice it. Anyways, it's been a day since I got that phone call with that big news yesterday. That invitation for me to go out to New Orleans, Louisiana and um, represent Belize at that jazz festival and I'm still excited I'll be honest with you guys last night let me see if it's too bright here last night when I lay down in bed I started to have nerves and I was like oh my god I have to go on a plane I haven't been on a plane since I suffered the vertigo attack on May the 6th 2014 um, I'm gonna be away from my house for 10 whole days I'm gonna have to work three long days take three days off and then work four long days Am I, on, am I going to be able to physically withstand all of this with fasciitis and everything else? <clears throat> what do they really want me to do? They said they want me to demonstrate the food, but how how will I be able to demonstrate on stage? Some of the Belizean food uh, foods take a long time to cook like, like rice and beans. You've got to soften the beans for two, three hours and then do this. And will I have access to a kitchen where I can make some of the stuff and then just show the finished product and then just kind of do a demonstration as to how to get from the beginning to the end? Are we going to give the food away to people as they go by? I mean, so many questions came up last night that I did not ask on the initial phone calls. And I'm sure there'll be a lot of phone calls, you know, where I can clear up all this stuff. But I definitely would like to find out more. Joe is coming back right now. Let's see. What do you say? He said something like this is a brand new, about $1,700. 1700 brand new? Uh, uh, so how much would it be used? Maybe about $900. For real? Holy crap, we're sitting on a gold mine. They say that everything that you need from God is already in your life. Just awaiting your recognition of it. And it's true. If you need money to start a business or to buy something, you got to sell something first. I'm going to sell, Joe. <laughs> Did you hear what I said? Right. I'm gonna sell Joe. I said me. Uh huh. You would you would be worth a lot of money. You have to sell me something. You're still strong. 
you're smart, you still have your good looks, huh? You're easy to get on with. She only talk good old lady, got a lot of money. An old lady? Yeah, so you gonna do the reverse Anna Nicole? <laughs> <laughs> I was talking to somebody, I think it's Shanika before, yeah. and I'm telling her who all I adore on TV, right? Like actors. And she says, they're all old men. I'm like, I didn't tell you I wanted them. I just admired them. <laughs> right, Joe? I'm hungry, babe. What you gonna give me to eat? Tengo hambre. Let's go eat that, Oh my God. <laughs> no, I don't wanna go there when I'm this hungry. I'll get mad at somebody if I have to wait an hour to be seated. I called the godmother last night. No, the godmother that stood for me over baptism, I'm gonna call her the godmother, like the godfather, <laughs> because my other godmother that you guys have seen at all my parties and stuff, she stood up for me um, over confirmation because we were raised um, Episcopalian or Anglican. So because I'm a girl in the Episcopal church, I'm supposed to have two godmothers and one godfather over baptism and then one godmother over confirmation, okay? So, the um, other godmother over baptism and the godfather um, happens to be my mom's older brother and his wife. I don't count them for nothing. So let's move on. So I call the godmother. <laughs> What's wrong? What's wrong? What did I say? <laughs> Quick, they give up the farm. Oh, I gave him up a long time ago, okay? So anywho. I called her last night. She was just as sweet as could be. I, t I told you guys, every time I talk to her, she's really, really sweet. <coughs> I guess I'm the only one that has issues. <laughs> so I called her and I told her that I got the call from um, the man that called me yesterday, the president of the Belize Association in New Orleans. Um, I've tried to say New Orleans, but it's hard for me to say New Orleans. So I might say it back and forth, okay guys, because... Joe, how do you say New Orleans? New Orleans? He's, he says a cross between New Orleans and New Orleans. That's what I say, New Orleans. I don't know why they call it Linz when it has E-A-N in it, like bean. It doesn't make sense. Americans say New Orleans. <clears throat> New no, you don't. You just said that right now. Joe's like that. Let me tell you guys how Joe is. You will tell him something, and he will change Shut everything up. to perpetuate. To perpetuate. Perpetuate. <laughs> I can't say the word. Say his the word. his lie. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I can speak really eloquently, but there are a lot of words that throw me. Okay. So, anyways, I called her. She was sweet. I told her that the man called me. She was excited to know that he called already. And the way she told the story was that the man that got up and said, what about the girl from the Bear Pantry show? Actually said, I know somebody you can ask. And then she was like, oh, me, 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 I know somebody too. And then the both of them said, it's Bear Pantry. And they asked if anybody knew me. And then she stood up and said, that's my goddaughter. And so they watched my one minute video at the meeting the one minute video that's called the last four years in the bear pantry kitchen and they were impressed they were like wow she exists how did we not know about her so and there were 15 people in the meeting so this is the way i understand the thing now i didn't understand it before when he was saying he's going to go present it to this one and that one and that one and so the plane tickets for joe and me are going to be bought by the Belizean Association that's located in New Orleans. Now, we have an association like that here too. I don't think they're like linked together like chapters and stuff, right? You just make one in your own state that you're in or your own city. And Joe and I are members of the um, Anjeda and my parents, of course, and my sister are members of the Belizean Association here. So whenever they have fundraisers, we'll lend our expertise, our talents, stuff like that, singing, cooking, whatever. So, um, my godmother belongs to the association there. So she says, <clears throat> the association will pay for the plane tickets. And thank you, Jesus, the plane tickets are coming down because of something with gas prices going down or fuel prices going down. So the, the tickets to um, New Orleans right now went down by $109. So Jada can really swoop in and buy her ticket if she's gonna get to go. So um, she said the um, jazz festival would be the one that would sponsor me for coming. So I feel even more honored, right, Joe? 
that the jazz festival is gonna sponsor me so that's what the guy is doing right now the guy Sal he's gone to the um, festival committee and he's presented who he needs for them to sponsor to come and be at the Belizean booth to represent food and she seemed to think that it wouldn't be a problem she says Sal knows how to get what he needs and the um, festival actually is the one that's sponsoring the bands to come from Belize and so she says, I don't see why they wouldn't sponsor the person to come represent the food. <clears throat> so they would be the one that would put me up in a 10 day, 10 night or 11 night or whatever stay in a fancy hotel right near the venue. She says it's a racetrack that they convert into like fairgrounds for this festival. And I guess the festival has been going on for 46 years. It's a big deal. And for Belize to win is, a even, is an even bigger deal. And she said that Belize will have a tent that's set up right in the middle of the fairgrounds where everybody will know that that's the featured country. So the traffic will definitely be directed to that booth. Whereas maybe if they didn't win and they were just having a booth there, you would get what you get. So this is an awesome opportunity for me, guys. First of all, first and foremost, to represent my country well. I would be the face of food. So they would be eating my food. So it's going to be hard work because I'm going to have to cook every night. Joe and I are going to have to cook every night in some stranger's kitchen. They might not have the tools we need. We're going to be working against some major stuff. Or maybe it'll work out and they'll have better tools than we have. Right, Joe? But I thank God for Joe because he can cut a chicken with his teeth if he has to. <laughs> you can cut a chicken with your teeth if you have to, right? <laughs> So I need your help guys. Well, you know what? It's not confirmed yet. <laughs> Joe, mm -hmm. it's not confirmed yet. Here I am getting so excited. It's not confirmed yet. Mm -hmm. Hey, I have to have expectation, don't I? Yes, baby. Let's go. I got okay, it. okay. Yeah, I forgot you have to go. Bye. Thank you so much for watching, liking, and subscribing. Please check out my other channels right here to the right of your screen, the cooking channel, the product review channel, and Joe's channel. The links are in the description box.